All right, all right, it's going down. Let's get uh, some people saying hi in the chat. Just want to make sure everyone's here. Normally, when we get really busy, these are, I don't know, we probably get like 30 people just checking this stuff out. All right, we got people coming in. We got uh, Big Ev. We got Kev BK. We got AK777 here. Uh, we got some, some people that are going to be missing tonight, but they'll be watching the stream later. Yes, there's an is there an echo for everyone else? I don't didn't get the sense that uh, when I tested it, I have that. Can't continue with an echo if that's happening. Stream open in Discord. Uh, I had Twitch open earlier, but uh, I shut that off, so I don't know what that would be. Yeah, I don't know, Bill, welcome. Desired, what's up? Good eye, Mike. Welcome. All right, so I think this might actually be on Bill's end. You might have a couple of things open, something delayed, something not so delayed, so. Best of luck to everyone. Okay, so if you don't know what this is, this is the uh, CBGM, College Basketball General Manager. You can catch our website at uh, cbgm.news. My name's Chris, I'm the commissioner. Uh, this is the, uh, what should I say, flagship league of the General Manager Games Network. Uh, tonight's the big night of the uh, recruiting bonanza. Usually it's the most recruits commit after even one of the first pitches. And uh, so some people commit all the way from cool to, uh, to their school and some are still in the warm state. Teams that are, are have hot players usually have a better chance. So, all right, so Bill, I'm glad you got that figured out, my friend. So yeah, okay, so to carry on, what we do is what's the big thing here is uh, we're on the 11th. So I'm gonna show you right now that uh, we're on September the 11th on the top right-hand corner. So the big thing about this league is obviously um, we do all our stuff live, we show the final four, um, and we do this Bonanza live too. Um, you see the date roll over, then essentially we then go over and uh, we have a look at the 100 top 125 high level prospects and we'll move pretty fast tonight and get it going but um if there's not any other questions or comments there's 12 people in this chat so uh, i'm pretty sure everyone's ready to go um missing tonight there's going to be some i think north carolina didn't get something in. kentucky definitely didn't get anything in so that makes things quite interesting i think duke is very limited on who they can uh, add it at the AI spot and so uh, some interesting storylines to note I think uh, seeing whether or not Gonzaga kind of comes back to life like you know picture the Undertaker coming out of the other uh, tomb and uh, is Gonzaga going to come back and uh, make some noise so with that in mind September the 11th this is it we're going to roll the date uh, what I then do is I, I, I at tradition I go to cards profile um from Cards' profile, we then look at that uh, 125 list. I think I have a good system this time where when we go to the recruiting screen, I sort of the order so it's 125 uh, first and then I go right on the arrow each time towards uh, number one. But what I'll do is I'll probably, hey Breeze, what's going on? This is uh, the reveal for CBGM. And uh, I'm gonna advance the date right now so we can all see this go from the 11th to the 18th. So let's do that. This is it. This is big time going on. And uh, yeah, so essentially what I'll do is just so that maybe there's no issues, I'll, I'll kind of turn off the uh, recruiting screen to the tourney screen for like maybe a couple seconds, just in case there's no spoiler alerts for the stream and the show. Uh, 
believe me, I don't want to be spoiled because uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see what happens. I think I have a chance maybe for the best best guy out there. So I want no spoilers there. Okay, so we're on the 18th. This is it. Um, we just rolled over the date. And what I do now is uh, tradition, Mr. Brian Scott, cards 1125, going to his profile. Uh, recruit players, hold on, let me... Shit, just hopefully no one saw anything there, please. That was probably a little bit of a risk, but I'm just gonna take a look at this uh, order of actions, and I definitely had the sword order differently, and I think I, uh, I might have got a, a look. Should have been. All right, is what it is. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go through this order of 125. Coming back. Lorenzo, this guy's still here, so let's press right, not left. Left would then be number one. Let's make sure this works. All right, so here's the 125 list. Uh, Jack Hill Keen, unsigned. Let's see what else we got here. Um, Dontavian Mayhew. What's the spoiler? Then what's the point of me doing all this? Let's just, <laughs> just, just upload the file. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, Don Tavian Mayhew, and this is uh, someone that no one's really looking at, so we'll keep flying through here. Chauncey Portillo, unsigned, South Carolina, Miami's hot. Uh, Lewis Sullivan, still unsigned. Oh, no, no, signed. Sorry, what am I saying? I'm, I'm, it's been a while since I've done this. So Iowa's got Lewis Sullivan, um, and that's English 004. He's going to Iowa at 121. Matthew Harlow, shooting guard 120. He's still out there. Memphis, Alabama on his trail. Anthony Mixon, power forward. Let's see what else we got going on here. Not much there. Little Rock on uh, Yak Yaquin. I can't pronounce his name. Willingham. He's uh, available 14 points a game. Little Rock and Fam Yu is on the trail, number two. Uh, he has some decent outside shooting and passing stats there. So we're going to 118 and 117. We got Clemson and Miami, two AI teams now both looking for uh, Morris Wing. So we're at 117, continuing to move along. 116, Sid Field unsigned, Minnesota, Michigan State. Keep firing through. Tank it, save from, uh, from Turkey unsigned. 114, we have a signing. So um, we got machine earned runs with Ohio more. Mo Jorgensen uh, beats out Dayton. So I think Desired, you may have wanted this guy, but he's Mo Jorgensen's going to uh, the Ohio Bobcats in the MAC conference. William Fenton, point guard, Minnesota. Uh, William Fenton is going to, I think this is. Uh, Someone added Minnesota recently. That might be Big Ev. Uh, oh, no, maybe not. Maybe AK or one of those guys. But, uh, yeah, William Fenton is Minnesota. 113 is off the, the board. JJ McKee off the board. Uh, sorry, available. Ryder Koch. Shooting guard still available. Louis Tech, Alabama, Wichita State remain. Moving on. Oh, Kev BK, that's a signing for you, man. Good job. Clyde Peacock, nothing going on there. Miami, Mississippi State. 109, we're almost at the top 100. Yaquil, or Jaquil Callaway. He's uh, got Connecticut and Virginia Tech after this player. Uh, something must be up with this guy. And uh, I could read cards as notes if I wanted to, but uh, won't, won't do that for everyone. Mike Mixon, still available, 108. Charles DeBoer, uh, Miami's on his trail, still available. 106, Jamar Holland, still uh, St. John's, Temple, Texas Tech, going after this player. Oh, well, or likes Texas Tech, I should say. Not necessarily uh, Trip Lakely's cup of tea. Athleticism and stealing, kind of low. All right, Devon Witt. Clemson, unsigned. That's the uh, the team's top ten right now for him. And we got 
104 coming up. Devon Rowe, unsigned. Denzel Thomas, unsigned. No information about this player. Stedman Jones. The names are getting better and better. <laughs> and uh, he's got that Amish look going. Uh, Carlisle High School shooting guard. He's unsigned. 101 Slavo Ostrozinska from Serbia. 101 unsigned. Kelly Hamilton, and we're into the top 100 now, so I'm going to keep it rolling. This is an unsigned player. Jared Siebert, unsigned Miami, South Carolina. Those top AI teams kind of come around their regions, but never sign anybody. Oswaldo Fonseca, Brazil, unsigned. Philip Higgs, unsigned. We're at number 97. Cortez Van, it's gone down. So I did actually try to go with this guy at South Bama, take the risk. Yeah. Could be worse. Didn't really have great camp data, but it's uh, Mississippi State. So, Mississippi State, that is uh, a signing here. I forget who that might be, but I'm pretty sure it's a human team. So, congratulations. I could go look that up, but uh, it's all good. Let's see. Darnell Allen, unsigned, 95, still available. Oh, Big Ev, that's you. Mississippi State, you got Cortez Vent. Good luck on that one. Uh, he's, he's got a lot of great shooting stats, scoring touch. We'll see what happens. J.D. Eckert, Juco, unsigned. VTech on his trail. Kyle Mahoney, unsigned point guard, 93. We're still getting down this list. Jaden Volpe, VCU, Iona Davidson on his trail. Juco. Buster Brockman, that's a good name. One of the better ones. Miami Memphis on his trail shooting guard. He's got some uh, some nice scouting ratings there, but not sure if he's going to be... Uh, he's in the top 25 in Memphis, so could be helpful to somebody. Scott Warden, he signs with Caleb Mueller. Uh, power forwards going to LSU. LSU, one of those... Uh, one two two one two one one diamond trap team so it'll be interesting to see how they adjust in the future Let's see what else is going on here theodore ordonez iona the 89 recruit he's uh, unsigned still 88 keith payne st bonnie's boston college st john's still on the trail keep it going Can kanye lamke is going to georgia so, someone must have, I think someone added Georgia recently as well. I, I get, honestly, I get confused between the teams of uh, Big Ev, AK777. Um, there's a couple other, Bubba Jr. is also pretty new. I gotta, I gotta remember you guys' teams. Uh, Kanye Lemke, though, beats out Auburn, beats out Clemson, beats out LSU, and uh, I believe he was in quite a bit of demand. Vincent Robson, unsigned 86. Tiger, Tiger Jones. Tiger Jones, y'all. Kansas State, point guard. K-State, positive K, he gets it done. He's gonna try to hope that Tiger Jones passes the uh, SATs. Uh, I think he was a potential at-risk player. All right, moving on. Herb Stinnett. Unsigned. Keeping it going. Otis Moore, Temple, Iona, unsigned. Keeping it going. Guillaume Rayu. So Guillaume Rayu, France, unsigned. Continuing. Christopher Huang, still unsigned. So we got Mississippi State, really loves Clemson and Duke. They just somewhat tease him. I can't see them actually trying to sign him. Uh, Louisville's in there, but Chris Christopher Huang uh, is unsigned right now. Travis Hokey, or Hoke, still unsigned. Utah State Memphis on his trail. Reggie Westmoreland, center. Davidson, North Carolina State on his trail. Looks like uh, that could be Locust looking for some, uh, some stability at the center position if Corey Pangrazio goes when he goes pro. David Samuelson, so St. Mary's 
has a signing. So that is uh, Mr. Chuck, I believe, or Warlord, one of those two. Uh, we got some action happening in the West. So that uh, West Coast Conference is adding uh, some talent here. And David Samuelson. Uh, also, maybe a potential SAT risk. I thought I had him as, I'm thinking, he's a bit of a worry. Mm. Here we go. So this man here, uh, Pelvic Wu, he always gets his team in just with like five minutes to go at eight o'clock. Has to put the kids to bed. Always rushing and get his uh, S X exports in. And Warren Covington is a signing. He's got his guy. Uh, he might be putting the kids to bed right now. But if he's here, congratulations to uh, the Pelvic Wu. Don Al Curio, Providence with a signing here. Beats out Virginia Tech and Kev BK. Uh, not sure if Kev BK put any offers out, but uh, Don Al Curio is gone. PJ McVeigh, so another pelvic group player. If he's here, he's catching it at the right time of the stream. Two guys, 75 now. We're moving on. Jabru Alvarez, he's unsigned at the 74 position. Roy France, center from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Unsigned right now, still going. 72, Taylor Malloy, unsigned, still going on. Tay Nance, Temple VCU on the trail, unsigned center, 70. We're in the top 70 now. Chris Loveless, Syracuse Providence Seton Hall, and no other players interested this for this JUCO. Uh, really limited uh, interest here. 70th overall JUCO, but uh, not much interest. Cloyd Sacco, unsigned, 69. Continuing on, Darnay Zuniga is North Carolina is all over this player still has one more round to go there'll be a second round of bids Cuse, VCU, Seen Hall will get another crack Daryl Morgan still unsigned Duke in Michigan kind of just looking for backup plans here Luke Colombo the Canadian please leave him alone if possible That'd be nice. I have a team that is all Canadians, and that would be much appreciated. Uh, if not, then I uh, hope he has all tens. <laughs> Jermaine Stacy, Duco, 65, unsigned. Keep it going. 64, Troy Harris, unsigned. Not a lot of data here. St. John's, Connecticut. Lissandro Valdez, unsigned. Still moving along. Sterling Willis. So Indiana gets a signing here. Uh, beats up Purdue and Duke. If Purdue, Duke, and Stanford were going after this guy. Point guard Sterling Willis is going to Indiana. The Hoosiers. Rusty Mello. So Spida, do you have someone? You got Rusty Mello tonight. The power forward. Beats out, uh, you beat on Marquette, Dayton, Butler. Um, so Rusty Mello is going to Purdue. Next up, Nicky Dolos Santos, one of the better names in the game. Uh, not in high demand, I believe this guy, but we're in 60 now. We're getting towards the top 50. Keeping it going here. Warren Steiner unsigned. Uh, so that's not that interesting. We'll keep it going. Xander Higgins, 58, unsigned. Keep it going. Buford Leal. Uh, there's some interest on this guy. But it's a battle. We got six hot teams. I haven't really seen that that often. Um, I mean, they could all be that much equally weighted. Uh, very fractional difference between all of them, potentially. Because uh, all the warms are below that. So we're getting to the indie players. We got Cash Streeter, another great name. Going to NC State. Locus gets his center. This is... Uh, is this Pangrazio's heir apparent? But Cash Streeter is going to the ACC Conference and he'll be joining Locus at NC State. Magic Padron. Magic Padron is, uh, man, these names are so good. <laughs> Loving this name file. Uh, Seton Hall, South Carolina, interested in Magic Padron. And uh, from New York, 
Bala is uh, unsigned at this point. Six seven for for uh, Ferdinando Evangelista from Italy. Uh, he's a center. He's just kind of undersized from height. His weight's kind of undersized as well. Memphis Free, Clemson, Mississippi State interested in Memphis Free, but he had a really really bad indie camp. Um, May he read a really bad Memphis camp. So a great name, but probably not someone we're gonna hear making a lot of noise. Freddy Barrios. Freddy Barrios is not signed yet. And so we're into the top 50 almost. Kyle Durkin, still unsigned, North Carolina State, Maryland Seton Hall. Bert Haynes. Bit of a grimy lower end battle for Bert Haynes here. UAB is number one at this point. All right, next up. Branimir Lubicic, Croatia, 49, no information. Yaquan Nguyen, the Nuge. Yaquan Nguyen is going to Seton Hall. The center uh, is he beats out Maryland, VCU, Michigan, uh, AI team there. So Yaquan Nguyen is going to Seton Hall. George Dorn, Clemson point guard. There's uh, I don't think anyone runs Clemson, but it's a JUCO going. So this this indie camp top fifty. There's way more signings coming up. Uh, they're pretty decided on where they want to go. Tommy Pierce unsigned forty six. Keep it going. David Resendez is going to Arizona State, so that's uh, going to be someone that they can rely on in the future. That's a good good player out of Hawaii. Hawaii seems to produce some decent ballers in this game. Demarios Holgan, Holguin. Uh, he's unsigned right now. Syracuse, Michigan, West Virginia. And we're into 43. Scott Turnbull unsigned at 43. D. Bustamante. This is an interesting battle here. So, uh, good. he has some camp data. Louisville's clearly throwing a bluff. They didn't even pitch. They're not in there. So that bluff may have worked because it looks like uh, Galia went after D. Bustamante. And then we have the AI Michigan and uh, these teams are decent, but uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like if a Galia wants to go set another crack at this guy, they might be able to, might be able to land him. But he is the MVP at Memphis. So maybe he just hates Louisville. All right, Tariq Esparza. Unsigned at 41. Oregon's up there in the interest category. Michigan and Memphis as well. Latrell, Leo, unsigned at 40. We're into the top 40 now. This is a lot of indie talent coming up. We got Ulysses Logan, unsigned. Cal, uh, interesting to see what happens here. Danny Scott, the Aussie. He's going to be... Uh, Hopefully he goes to Kansas City, but I guess it's hard for people to resist a little uh, mystery in the top 50. All right, next up, Jose Fries, uh, unsigned, 37, keep it going. Tyson Perry, so the riches and the gold rush continues for Agu. He's got another guy coming. agu has got another guy. And uh, he's going to add to the talent that he had last year. So between Florida and Tenney, they kind of were cleaning up and they're definitely heating up now in the recruiting trail. So what do we got next after uh, Tyson Perry's now off the board? Elliot Jett, great name. Good pickup here. I thought this guy was um, had, had some uh, interesting under-the-radar uh, talent. I didn't chase him with Crichton. Probably could be like a third, uh, you know, third in visit day kind of guy if he's around, you know. Um, but right now, Texas wanted him. Texas got him, and he could be a four-year player for uh, Vin Vincalia. All right, next. Eric Murillo is going to Oklahoma. So we have, uh, I think that's, I'm not, Darren doesn't run them. There's another guy that's running Oklahoma now as well. Um, 
but yeah, that, this is a pretty decent power forward. He was uh, had some interest from a lot of teams. Next, Kobe Cox. So there's a lot of teams interested in this guy. So alert now, Kev BK might be battling a couple AI teams for interest. He's uh, on a, he's still available right now. Will Coronado, unsigned Michigan, West Virginia. These are a lot of bluffs. Like, are, are any of these AI teams really going to start throwing some bids up there? But uh, Michigan, West Virginia, and Pitt are into uh, Will Coronado. AJ Ahern uh, is going to go for another bid round one more day. So he's uh, still there. I'm uh, interested in this guy, it looks like. <laughs> And then Oregon, Memphis, West Virginia. So uh, this is what's going on here. Uh, we'll see what happens with that guy. Mauricio Ribeiro, or Marcio, sorry. Ribeiro, he's on sign 30. So we're into the top 30 now. We're almost in the top 25. Let's get it going. It's Keith Aravallo. Uh, Oregon has can just literally walk into this player if they want. Uh, maybe it's going to take one more bid round, but Keith Aravallo is almost looking ready to go. Uh, point guard could add to Oregon's uh, talent pool. Creighton's there, uh, but there's a big gap between hot and uh, and medium teams. So let's see what else we got here. Lloyd Schoon Schoonover is uh, still out there. So great name, great stats. Uh, don't know too much else about this guy, but uh, don't need a power forward. So let's see what else is up. Oliver Flanders is going to Oklahoma. So Oklahoma was a bit quiet. Um, I guess this was the chance maybe to see if OK State might could come in and take these guys, these types of players. But uh, right now it's Oklahoma who's, who's hitting up on these players. They're knocking them out. So they're going to uh, add a center here at 27. 26, Joseph Mortensen. So point guards, if you want to be a point guard and you want to go pro in the NBGM, go to Maryland. Maryland produces a lot of point guards. Two point guards to be drafted, I think, already. Uh, Mark Laney, obviously, is uh, of lore and legend of the league. Um, but uh, a great point guard factory with Kid Coffee Black. Uh, and that's a team that was just added to their talent. So we're going to be at 26 now next. Ted Zapita is going to Q's. So the Syracuse rebuild is on. Jojo Crowell uh, is making it happen. Ted Zapita is going to come in next year. It looks like he could be a four-year player at the tw the, uh, the first five-star right now we're looking at. Um, and they're five stars from here on out. So if everyone's ready to see what's going on with these guys, there's going to be a lot of action here. Andrew Jackson, this is uh, the Aussie you need, desired. This is the guy. Um, man, if you could pull some sort of five-star there. But who knows? No one knows anything about this player. Uh, just happens to be five-star talent. So, all right. What do we got next? Darren Morrissey is going to San Diego State. So, that's my Aztecs. I can't do that sound that they do with the... Uh, Listen to the arrows or whatever they they keep when they shoot them. I watched the live game. The whole crowd's doing that sound of um, yeah the uh, Aztec Warriors. Uh, but Darren Morrissey could be a uh, pad stat stuffer. I'm interested to see what happens here. It might not be uh, you know the greatest defensive player, but uh, there's a lot of interest here. See if he could be a good point guard. There's a five star coming to San Diego State. Shane Matthias leaves the West. So this is one of the bigger stories here. Shane Matthias was, was a guy that all the West thought they could have. Like it was like UCLA was on the trail, uh, Oregon, maybe Gonzaga. Everybody in the West came at this Cali baller. And guess what happens? He's going to a program with prestige. He's going to a name with Mad Eye. And uh, Shane Matthias is going to be a hell of a player for Michigan State for a long time. So that's uh, unpredicted, but definitely a great target. Uh, and hard to beat Michigan State's prestige pitch. And Shane Matthias wants to go there. All right, next up, Darcy Shaw. Oh, man. So it's a back-to-back -back 
point guard. It's the, the new backcourt of Michigan State for the next four years. Darcy Shaw and Shane Mattias, both from the West, both convinced to go to Michigan State to go with Mad Eye. So they just cleaned out the best point guards in all of the West region going to a Midwest team. So that's theft. That is theft. All right, next. De- De- Devondre Sandoval, he's going to be joining that point guard at uh, Maryland. So Coffee adds another player, another talent. And uh, that's that's it, man. That's That's pretty crazy. So let's see what else is going on after this guy. Top 20 coming up. Devarius Weber. So kind of one of those guys where we don't know what's what his, uh, his true capabilities are. He's got all kinds of stats. Uh, not really a camp star, but has a lot of interest from teams. Next up, Vinny Habib. So I, I'm liking these plays by Vin Calia. So Texas... Uh, after losing Jarrett, after losing Barry Barrett, uh, have added good players here. Good good potential four-year players to fill their lineup. So Vinny Habib uh, is is a signing that's going to play the wing for them and uh, join up with the other talent that they're continuing to add there in Texas. So number 17, Tavis Miles. Uh, we got Baylor, Dame, West Virginia. So Baylor and Dame still have not signed anybody. Uh, this point guard is still out there. See what else we got going on. Ziggy Van, great name again. Uh, all computer teams all over this guy. And Michigan State with interest. Not sure anyone's actually going to try to go out and get this guy. Uh, didn't really do well at camp. So who knows? Charles Card. So Charles Card goes to UConn. So Kev BK gets his guy here. He's going to see what he can do. This guy scores 26.6, 23.6 in high school. He's got a lot going on. So we're into the top 15. Uh, we'll see what kind of player this guy turns into. I'm sure by the time Kev's done, he'll have uh, morphed him into some other player entirely. Uh, but for the time being, he is a recruit. Corey Dix. So Notre Dame gets the guard guard action. So the future of... The guard position at Notre Dame is going to be Corey Dix to, uh, you know, prove his worth. Was it worth it? Florida was in on him, but Notre Dame is grabbing this guy, taking them from Florida. Uh, Florida just has so many players. It's just this is a top ten player at Indy, so you can't really hate on just chasing those kind of guys. Next up, Randolph Reese. Okay, so Texas is continuing continuing to just clean up uh, some of those these guys in this range. So what does that mean, though? Does that mean Texas is out of the better guys? They came in on these guys. They they kind of just set their expectations at a good good level, and they're they're going after guys that seem realistic. Um, but those scholarship offers went out. They're signing with Texas. All right, we're into the top ten next. Oh, not Texas. Johnson Christensen. So this is a downer for some, but Oregon is a talent, is a center, uh, for, you know, front court factory right now. Uh, a lot of bigs going to Oregon right now. Uh, it's changing. It used to be a team of guards. Now it's a team of of bigs. So right now Oregon has not been able to kind of uh, – Retool the, the the guard position in the backcourt, but for now they continue to add assets in the front court. All right, next up, Garrett McKinnon. So, all right, now's the time we're seeing some Wisconsin noise. Blazer Taz has struck. He's uh, I think he's got some. He was being mentored by Cards Eleven Twenty Five. I think they were talking about how they should approach this recruiting campaign. But we have a top 11 player, which is interesting because this guy might not go pro right away. So you got a guy right on the cusp of like the, you know, after 1 to 10, these guys are more likely to stick around. Uh, But they have the center of the future in Wisconsin now. So congratulations, Blazer, on that. Wesley Cardenas, uh, Ohio State. 
So Machiner runs, he goes west, plucks a player that people were looking at in the west. Johnson Christensen didn't end up leaving the west coast in the end. Uh, he was from Washington State, so seeing him go to Oregon seems kind of likely, I guess. But Wesley Cardenas is a from Arizona. He's leaving the region, and he's going to the Midwest to join the Big Ten Conference. All right, but now we're into the top ten. This is it. This is some big names here. Isaac Halverson. Did not, I forgot this guy was even in the top ten. Um, but then, you know, you got these these teams. You got Georgetown, Maryland, Ohio State. West Virginia, Michigan State. He's unsigned. He's still thinking about it. Uh, there's several teams in the mix there. We'll see what he does. Cordell Godoy. Godoy. Uh, unsigned right now. Interesting kind of movement there. We'll see what's up. Darius Acker. So Georgetown, the Big East. They're adding a special piece here. Uh, Beats out Duke, Michigan. I don't think that many people might have challenged for this power forward. But Georgetown is going from a guard team now to uh, front court, potentially uh, talent-wise. They're in transition. The look of their team's changing. So good signing there. Let's see. We're going to number six. And Darius Bauer. Florida. It wouldn't be a Florida, uh, you know, recruiting night if Florida didn't make some sort of moment that was uh unfortunate for the rest of the association you could say and and Darius Bauer is going to Florida to add to the other talent there um replacing potentially maybe a couple other one and dones they added but they had a lot of guys last year so all right keep it moving we're at the top five right after this so top five pick who's gonna come up I forget the order but we, I know some of the names in there uh, we all know Seth Moles at the top of the list. What do we got over here? Grady Hawkins, Oregon, takes another guy. So this is another West Coast region player. Oregon has that prestige flex. They can go after guys like that. Um, so still not the point guard, shooting guard position, but this is definitely getting towards the a bit of the backcourt, you know? Okay. Should this guy be moved around a bit? He's 6'8", 231. Uh, top five player. We'll see how Oregon does. All right, next up. Godfrey Hewitt. So this is just nuts, man. So Michigan State adds another guard. Bids on another guy. Adds more guard talent. And Michigan State just cleaned up the best guards almost in the country. Um, and that's kind of what it's looking like at the moment. And, uh, and with that in mind, I don't know what's going to happen. If you can keep all these, these people happy, uh, maybe three prong rotation, but who knows? Let's see what else is going on here. All right. Top three coming up. This is it guys. Thanks for coming in. we got 19 viewers tonight. CBGM. Let's see what's up. Jaron Mobley is going to Baylor. So as usual, that's the kind of uh, kind of thing we see where Baylor gets involved. They cannot be ignored. Uh, they come in, they go pitch whatever they pitch. It seems to work every year. Um, but Jaron Mobley, the scoring talent, five star, is going to be uh, added over there. Just the, the depth on that team is ridiculous. I don't know how they can sustain everybody. Um, maybe, you know, some transfers or something, but Baylor's restocked. All right, what do we have next? Tyshawn Dahl, Seth Maul. Let's see what's up. Tyshawn Dahl. Yeah, bud. So these guys who look like uh, Sons of Anarchy, um, biker dudes. I got another one of those guys. So Anton Gordon's, uh, you know, twin power forward is coming to Crichton. So awesome. I went after this guy. I did not think this would be the guy that would actually verbally commit. But he's coming to the Big East. So that's all right. We'll take that. We're going to play with Myers. Going to play with Gordon. Uh, well, I don't know if Gordon will actually still be around after next year. All right. And last but not least... The uh, Indy MVP, 
the Indy MVP is left. Um, I got a you know bad feeling since I just got this guy that the other power forward, uh, not Creighton, I you could probably say. Any predictions in the chat to get Seth Mole, the Indy MVP? Um, probably the guy who's going to have a hundred scoring in the game. I don't. I think everyone's at this point is just like whatever. But okay, Seth Mole coming up, number one talent. Very rare to have that guy also be uh, in the MVP. Who's it going to be? We got Van saying Notre Dame. Any other predictions here? We got a lot of schools I haven't heard anything about. I haven't seen any Michigan, Duke, any of those types of teams. All right, it's coming up. Here we go. Next advance, Seth Mole. Tyshawn Dahl went to Crichton. Seth Mole goes to Kansas. Darren has been around, I guess. Not a chatty guy, but Kansas is active. Their owner waited for the top talent, and uh, he's a Jayhawk. Seth Mole. Kind of dead to me. I don't respect the Jayhawk tradition. And, <laughs> but it's all good. Um, but at the moment, there's some teams that are really going to need to think about their strategy here. But Seth Mole is going to Kansas. Uh, I feel bad. I haven't seen OK State in these uh, signings in a while. I think there's some other guys out there. Um, it's really hard not to shoot your shot at some of these better talented players to go aim high. and. Sometimes it works. Like I've never got a guy as good as like the second overall player. Um, really, Anton Gordon wasn't even uh, that high. So it's possible. Um, but what are you gonna do? But anyways, everyone, thanks for coming out. I think everyone already knows what happened with their teams. So let's get the file out. We'll put the stream out. Thanks everybody for coming on. Uh, Nineteen twenty viewers, forty five minutes, nice and short and sweet, and. Uh, Best of luck to everybody else, my friends. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the CBGM. And come uh, come get some experience and then uh, come join. Cheers. Bye, everyone.